5 Facts About Sunflower Sunflowers are native to the Americas. They were cultivated in North America as far back as 3000 BCE, when they were developed for food, medicine, dye, and oil. Then, they were exported to the rest of the world by Spanish conquistadors around 1500. The flowers not only look like the sun, they need a lot of it. They grow best with about 6 to 8 hours a day but more is even better. They can grow as tall as 16 feet, although many varieties have been developed to thrive at different heights. Flowers planted too close together will compete and not blossom to their full potential. Sunflowers display a behavior called heliotropism. The flower buds and young blossoms will face east in the morning and follow the sun as the earth moves during the day. However, as the flowers get heavier during seed production, the stems will stiffen and the mature flower heads will generally remain facing east. The head of the sunflower is a combination of a thousand tiny flowers. In fact, each petal on the circumference of a sunflower is a flower itself. These long, colorful petals are known as ray florets. A common way for sunflowers to pollinate is by attracting bees that transfer self-created pollen to the stigma. In the event the stigma receives no pollen, a sunflower plant can self-pollinate to reproduce. The stigma can twist around to reach its own pollen. Most sunflowers are yellow. However, a sunflower's pigment doesn't stop there. Sunflowers can even be red and purple. Some examples of yellow sunflowers include American Giant, Zohar, and Elegance. The American Giant sunflower can grow up to 14 feet tall. This species is one of the tallest sunflowers and their faces can reach 12 inches wide. Red sunflowers come in different varieties. Some of them have similar daisy-like heads which are often born of the common yellow sunflowers. A common purple sunflower is the Chianti hybrid. A Chianti hybrid's petals have deep, dark reds which some classify as purple. This sunflower plant can grow to 5 feet and has no pollen, making it good for cutting. Sunflowers are regularly classified into two categories, tall and dwarf. Tall sunflowers are generally yellow and durable. Most of these sunflowers reach 12 to 16 feet tall and even higher in special circumstances. Types of tall sunflowers include skyscraper, sunforest mix, and Russian mammoth. Dwarf sunflowers commonly grow in clusters and immerse themselves in small gardens and pots. These sunflowers are classified as dwarfs because they tend to not grow taller than 3 feet. Dwarf sunflower types include Little Becca, Suntastic Yellow, and Pacino. A commonality between dwarf and tall sunflowers is they both grow best in full sunlight. There are two common types of sunflower seed, oil seed and non-oil seed. Oil seed sunflower production is the most commonly farmed sunflower. These seeds hulls are encased by solid black shells. Black oil seeds are a common type of bird feed because they have thin shells and a high fat content. These are typically produced for oil extraction purposes. Non-oil seed is the production of sunflower seeds for human consumption. The non-oil seeds grow on the flower head part of the sunflower plant. Sunflower seeds are high in vitamin E and selenium which help prevent chronic disease. Sunflower oils can reduce cholesterol levels. Sunflower oil has an anti-inflammatory effect. It contains linoleic acid which can convert to arachidonic acid. Both are fatty acids and can help reduce water loss and repair the skin barrier. The world's tallest sunflower reaches 30 feet and 1 inch. In 2012, U.S. astronaut Don Pettit brought along a few sunflower seeds to the International Space Station. The largest producers of sunflower seeds are Ukraine and Russia, who produce 15 and 13 million tons of seeds each year respectively. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe our channel.